In December, if you're lucky, you get about four hours of daylight in Reykjavik. And it can look all cool and shiny and welcoming and beautiful. So you can imagine my surprise when this greeted me in Kavergerdi, just 25 miles away for the 24-hour Spartan Ultra. And sorry for butchering the pronunciation, Kavergardians. At this stage, I've been out here 13, maybe 14 hours consecutively. Unsurprisingly, my body is unhappy, to say the least. Most competitors chose to duck into the dome after each lap to escape the elements, warm up, catch a snooze, and fuel up on real food. Not me! If I had any real food, I'd throw up. I've chosen to stay out as long as possible, convincing myself that that's how I'd stay focused. And staying focused is tough to do right now because of the throbbing and stinging in my left knee. It's all I can think about. Every lap is getting more and more excruciating and slow going. After a brutal fourth lap that took me almost twice as long as every other one to complete, I made the choice to enter the dome after racing 16 and a half hours straight to assess the damage and to get an official mile count. I'm super upset right now. I mean, I hit my goal of 30 miles, but to get like a 24 hour finisher medal, you gotta finish between nine and 12. And if I stay in any later than 60 minutes, I gotta go back out. But I don't know, is it really worth it for a medal? I'm accomplishing what I think I'm physically capable of doing at this moment. My knee, I can't push off of it. My decision's final. It's gonna be a trot to the finish, so you tell me when. Yeah, go for it. I officially cross the finish line to rousing applause. Where do I get my medal? Around 5 a.m. before collecting this piece of awesomeness. It's been a crazy three months, but I did it. I accepted a challenge, three Spartan races in three countries in three months, and the mission is now complete. Yeah. It wasn't easy, and I won't tell you it was always fun, <gasps> but that's what makes the accomplishment so rewarding for me personally. To wrap things up, I'd like to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. First off, thank you for the support. I couldn't have done it without you. If you were here right now, I'd give you a big bear hug, or a high five or fist bump if you're not the touchy-feely type. Second, I hope in some small way, the Challenge Accepted series reminds you that if you have a goal, ambition, or passion, if you commit yourself and don't let anyone talk you out of it or get in your way, you'll be unstoppable. And that's why I've accepted another set of challenges for 2018. I promise you, it'll be even more physically demanding, mentally taxing, and in the end, rewarding. Until next time, Aru, brother. Oh!